This is my electric pop-pop boat. I've got some other videos on this where I was using a motor back here with a, a propeller on it to push against the air to drive the boat. And I've made an improvement where I'm going to use a propeller to push directly against the water. I've got a little bit bigger motor. I'm not sure this motor will work, but I've got a smaller one in case it doesn't. Right now I've got the, uh, uh, the uh, power coming in in parallel. These are Peltier devices. We'll do a close-up and take a look at those. And yeah, that's about it. Same old, uh, same old hull from a, from a paint thinner can. And I've made an improvement on the uh, burner and we'll look at that also. The burner is made from an old uh, Chinese medicine tin and I just punched two holes in it and stuck two wicks in it. Originally it only had one wick and what I'm trying to do is uh, is get a little bit more heat out of this and because I've, now I've got two Peltier devices to drive. So yeah, get more heat out of it, get more uh, energy out of the devices to power the, the uh, cell. Uh, here's the word of warning that because of the way this is constructed. Uh, I only use heavy oil. I don't use any lightweight things like alcohol or thinner or anything like that to drive it because it will boil, it will overflow and burn. And I've already done that. Uh, you probably see that a little bit later in the wiring. It looks a little fried because uh, well, I had an onboard fire. Okay, so this is the, uh, the burner improvement. This part hasn't changed. It's just a square piece of aluminum. And what happens is the burner goes in here the heat goes up, heats up the aluminum, the heat travels around to the bottom and on the bottom I now have two Peltier devices instead of one and these will be touching the bottom of the boat. I'll put some heat sink compound on here so that basically these are almost in contact with the water. The heat will transfer through the uh, through the aluminum, through the Peltier device and then out the bottom of the boat and as it's moving along it'll keep it cool and that'll make it about as efficient as, as possible. Okay, so improvement, uh, two Peltier devices and a uh, burner that uh, will produce twice as much heat. Okay, and there's the wiring on that. Let's look at the motor. The motor back here is just a simple three volt motor from a kid's toy. And now I've got it hooked to this propeller through a rather long shaft and yeah, that's it for the setup. I used alligator clips so I can uh, change this out quickly if I need to. But uh, that's it. Now the next thing to do is light her up and see if it works. I've already applied the heat sink to the Peltier devices and put them in place. Now I'm going to light up the burner, put that in place. And the only thing I wish I had is a bigger sink because, as you can see, it's not going to travel very far. The propeller is right there. Okay, let's light her up. I'm replacing the big motor with a little tiny motor and the little motor is what I was using with the propeller against the air so that should work and here we are again with the small motor in place Ooh, that's warm okay and I just stirred it up so
There we have it. <laughs> well, almost. Too much friction. And my burner's going down again. Bottom cool. There we go. Tick, 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 tick. Well, at least we know in theory it's possible. <laughs> Too much back pressure on it, it doesn't want to. Yeah, the burner is not, the burner is just not doing it. Not getting enough heat. Okay, this is going to happen. This is full of oily stuff. I'm either going to burn up the boat or I'm going to make this work. There are no other options. Come on, get in there. Sink is leaking, so we shall. I have a feeling my wiring is going to catch on fire again. It's getting hot. Mostly a burner problem. At this point, we have proof of concept. My original one would run over 30 minutes, uh, just on the on a little burner, but trying to get more heat. I'm not doing such a good job of it. It does produce smoke.
and not surprisingly it's got more push than the uh, propeller going against the air. Now what I need to do is put a smokestack on here. And you can see how I built this, but uh, one of the things is it's very dangerous to try to use anything that's like a liquid, a flammable liquid. This is motor oil, it doesn't boil easily. Um, and the other thing is you can't put the fire directly in contact with the bottom of this uh, aluminum box because it will overheat the Peltier devices and ruin them. So, yeah. This is probably not good for them because I'm sure the oil in there is getting it uh, very hot. And And it'll self-start as you can see. It speeds up when I move it around in the water when I let it go because it's cooling the bottom of the boat, giving a higher temperature differential between the hot side and cool side of the Peltier device. So yeah, in a in a big swimming pool or something like that, this would do a lot better. She wants to run. Yep, next round. Uh, it's got to be an improved burner, improved hull, <laughs> improved motor system, drive shaft, propeller. Okay, well that's it for this time. I'm almost out of fuel, I'm almost out of water. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your home electric fireboat experimentation. <laughs>